Hello, hello, my sweet chickens. So today, I'm so sorry that I cannot be with my first couple groups of classes, but I wanted to quickly walk you through everything you would need to know to complete your assignment for today. So yesterday, we used our close reading strategies to learn about different threats, those potential damages or dangers facing our ecosystems. And we used things like the Deer Park Refinery Fire and Houston flooding to think about threats that we had already experienced and apply them to our own ecosystems. Today, our goals I can use my research to write my first draft describing what humans can do to help ecosystems. This week, we're using our research to advocate for solutions using purposeful writing, and we're ultimately becoming experts on an ecosystem and publishing a virtual exhibit on our topic. So at this point, we have a lot of practice taking our research and turning it into our first draft. But you'll notice that today's first draft looks a little bit different because it's not inside of our virtual exhibit and her writing is going to use a bit of a different approach today. So I hinted earlier this week that our focus this week would be all about purpose, why a person does something, their motivation. And so this week, we are going to write using a very specific purpose. The purpose we are going to focus on is to persuade, which is when the writer tries to get the reader to do or believe something. We usually see this in things like commercials or ads, or even during elections when candidates are trying to convince us to vote for them or believe what they believe. Now, persuasive text, text that their job is to persuade, usually use three main types of arguments. And I'm going to use some emojis here to help us picture what those look like. The first type of argument is a logical argument that uses facts that can't be debated. So using my research from yesterday, I might say something like, deforestation is increasing, increasingly rapid in the rainforest leading to the soil being washed away. I can't debate that. We know scientifically that that is happening. The next type of argument is an emotional argument that appeals to the reader's heart, how they feel. So an example from yesterday might be, as habitats disappear, so do all of the animals, like monkeys, thousands of species of butterflies, and tigers that call this place home. I'm calling to those emotions, making my reader picture those sweet animals that might be lost if we don't act. And finally, this one can be a little tricky. We're thinking about arguments that emphasize that we have to act now, that time is running out. So an example from yesterday might be, if we don't help now, the rainforest could be all wiped out in a matter of years. We're making the reader believe that they can't push this off and procrastinate. They have to help now. So when you open up your assignment today, research question eight, draft, you're gonna see our instructions, which say that using your research from yesterday, you're going to write a persuasive text where you explain, one, what are the main threats to your ecosystem? Two, how can humans help protect this ecosystem? And three, why humans should protect this ecosystem. And you should be using those logical, factual arguments, those emotional arguments, and those time urgent arguments to make your point and make the reader believe you. Because remember, this is a persuasive text. Now, the mistake I think that some of us might make here is that we might just answer them like, oh, number one, here's my answer. Number two, here's my answer. Instead, just like we do when we write our regular exhibits, we need to remember that we're telling the story 
of our ecosystem and we want to represent that story and get our reader really interested so we're still painting a picture we're just news using these new arguments to also try and convince them of how they need to act or what they need to do to help protect this ecosystem we've become experts on over the past nine weeks even if I'm not in class with you today, I will still be on GoGuardian to answer your questions, and I'm also here if you need anything. If you finish early, you can complete any of your missing assignments, you can add to your virtual museum exhibits, and you can read on Epic and log your minutes. Have a great day. I will see you soon.